Okay, today we are going to put on our water slide decals. All right, I bought these decals off our Rick's decal. Uh, so if you guys ever need any old style decals, Rick's got them all. Okay, these are a set that I, I bought from Rick's decal right here. Uh, now the first thing I did, I scanned these decals out first, just like this one right here. So I'll scan it out. And then scanned out on a piece of paper, I just simply cut it out. And I, I taped the template right onto the side of the gas tank. And then I just then I laid everything out. I have my layout tape marked up. And so now I have it nice and straight. Okay, in part one, I did the 1968 Sportster paint scheme. And I did the pinstriping and all of that. And I did the whole paint job. And now it's time to lay out our brand new water slide decals. Okay, I have the template in place and it's all nice and straight. And I have it marked up on all four sides, left and right and up and down. So now it's all laid out. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm, I'm gonna pull off the template and we'll get that out of our way. And then I'm going to clean the area back there, get all the dirt and dust off so it's nice and clean. And we'll get this last piece of tape out of the way right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe all the dust off and, and dirt so it's nice and clean back here. All right, just like so. And then, uh, then after this, we are going to go into the kitchen and we are gonna cook up a couple of really nice decals. Okay, let's go into the kitchen. All right, we'll, we'll set our water temperature at about 125 degrees. Just like that. We have a water temperature at about 125. Perfect. All right, all I'm going to do now, I'm, I'm gonna pour it into the frying pan nice and slowly. Just like so. Pour it in all the way. Right about, about right there's enough, right there. Okay, now we'll let the decal sit for about a minute and a half or so. And as you can see, I, I have weights holding it down. I have weights uh, on all four sides and I have a fifth weight right up on top there and it's to hold that decal down so it doesn't separate from the back of the backing paper okay as you can see on the right hand side the decal is just beginning to lift off that backing paper just a little bit all right i'll just let it sit a little bit longer here like i said and it's about a minute and a half or so And then uh, all we're going to do now is we're going to slowly take off the weights off the decal. Okay, just do it, do it nice and easily. We'll take all five weights off the top of the decal here. Just like so. 
and then I'll put my thumb on right there on top of the decal as I pull the decal out all right all right I have my thumb right on the edge of the decal I'm gonna hold it in place and now I'll pull the decal right out of there nice and easy and it's all set to slide on to the side of the gas tank Okay, we'll take our time here and we'll start and I'll put the decal right onto the side of the fuel tank here. I'll just pull it off with one side right here until it's right on the gas tank itself. And then I'll, I'll pull that paper out, out from the back of that decal right there. And let that decal just kind of flop right on top of the paint there, okay? Okay, now here's a very important part. Always wet all your fingertips first okay and then you touch the decal uh, because if you have dry hands and you touch that decal and then you pull your hand away that's going to rip the decal so it's very important that you wet your fingertips okay all right now we're going to take our time right here and we'll just put the decal in place and we'll, and we'll take our sweet time here because uh, you know, it's not going to dry or anything like that, so we have a lot of time here. And we'll just make sure uh, that we set it right in place. Nice and straight. And I'll, I'll take my time with this. I'm not going to rush this at all. And I want to make sure that I have the right height, left and right. All right, all I'm doing here, I'm checking it left and right to make sure that the decal is nice and straight. Next, what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll take a damp paper towel, and then I'm going to lightly pad this decal down, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to start right at the center of the decal, and I'll work my way out to the edges on both sides. And I'll just air pockets out of the back of the decal so it's nice and flat just like so work my way out to the edges take all that air out of the back of the decal just keep on doing it nice and easy take your time and I'll just straighten it out just a little bit more right here just like that and then I'll stand back from it about 10 or 15 feet and then I'll eyeball it a little bit just to make sure that it's nice and straight Okay, now after you set up your decal, wait about three days. Don't even touch it. Okay, just stand back for three days. Let the decal dry out. All right, after it's dried out here, then I'm going to take off my layout tape and then I'm able to clear a coat over the top of the decal. So what I'm going to do though, I'm, I'm going to take eighth inch wide masking tape and I'm going to mask off an eighth inch away from the outer edge of the decal all the way around the decal. Because when I clear coat this, I want the clear coat to go past the outer edge of the decal. About an eighth of an inch, that's about it. Alright, I got the decal on nice and straight and it's nice and dry. And now we're all set. It looks perfect just absolutely beautiful nice and straight
All right, I, I masked off all around the decal, like I said. I'm an eighth inch away from the outer edge of the decal. All right, so now it's all masked off all the way around the fuel tank here. And now we're all set. And we'll go outside in the garage and We'll spray some clear coat over the top of the decal. All right, let's get going. And I'll set up my paint gun and I'll start shooting out there. All right, I got my paint gun set up and it's all set to go. Uh, you know, on my first uh, coat, I'm, I'm going to just dust it in. All right, I'm going to stand far back away from the decal about about at least a foot and I'm just gonna dust it my first pass just like that I'm standing far back away from the decal just like so all right on this side I'll do the exact same thing I'm gonna stand far away from the decal about a foot at least and I'll give it a dusting coat a very light dusting coat just like this okay now I'll let that sit up a while and uh, after I do this on my first uh, coat, I'm gonna let it sit, uh, you know, for about 18, 19 minutes or so, and then I'll let this kind of set up a little bit. All right, on my second pass here, now. I I'm going to bring the gun in about six inches away. Okay, my second coat here. And I'm going to come in about six inches away from the decal. And I'm going to just spray back and forth a couple of times. Uh, all right, the same on this side too. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna stand back about six inches, and I'll I'll go back and forth about two or three times back and forth. Okay, right about there. It's looking really good. All right, on this side, I'll, I'll come back and I'll give it one quick pass back and forth, just like that. Okay, now I'll let it set up again uh, for about 18 minutes or so. It's looking good. Okay, I'm looking down the sides of the decal and I can see that I have the clear coating uh, really nice and flat. It's very, very smooth and, it, and it's like a mirror. It's just so, so smooth. Absolutely beautiful. Check it out. Alright, a word of caution here. Don't use a thinner in your clear coat because they can destroy your decal. Just use your clear coat straight right out of the can and you should be just fine. Don't use any kind of thinner though, okay?
Okay, and there you have it. A decal that is not baked into the paint job. Just beautiful. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week.